everyone welcome to my channel my name is Rachel today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve my everyday makeup look leading into fall kind of giving more of a natural to matte finish versus a dewy one that I was doing earlier in the summer and spring so if you'd like to learn how to get this look please keep watching thanks okay so I have already gone in and cleansed moisturized and primed my skin I went ahead and primed with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have talked about this before, but essentially I use it when my skin is feeling um, a little more dry. It really helps to nourish and give your skin some TLC. Then next, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. So this is a hybrid complexion perfecter with an SPF of 20. I go ahead and put one and a half pumps on my hand, and then I am, and it gives you a pretty good amount. And then I'm going to dot this on my face. And then I'm going to take this Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, it's an F80, and I am going to go ahead and work this into my skin. I'm going to do pat motions, and I'm also going to buff it into my skin to give myself a good amount of coverage. So the difference between using a brush like this and a beauty blender that I used to use is the beauty blender is going to sheer out the makeup a little bit more than the brush does. So it's going to give you less coverage. The Beauty Blender does happen to soak up a good amount of your a good amount of your product. The brush can obviously there's some product in here, but not as much as the Beauty Blender. So as you can see, like my skin like has that natural finish, but it's not super shiny. Whereas versus with the Beauty Blender, it gets that way. So then I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in the color beige, and this is a concealer that's somewhat close. I don't say somewhat close to my skin tone, but it is not super highlighting. This is mostly just to conceal um, spots under my eyes and even out my skin tone in certain places. I do put it down the bridge of my nose just to brighten a little bit and then on my chin. And then I'm going to put it in some other spots that have, just have some redness. All right, and then I'm going to go in with this Morphe E8 um, concealer brush. And it is just going to buff and blend out that concealer. And it just does a really quick job. I mean, I know some people use their fingers, but this is just a much quicker to me than using anything else other than a beauty blender, which a beauty blender I could go in and use, but the fact that I really don't want that finish that I was just talking about. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and set the makeup. So I'm going to go in with my tried and true Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Um, obviously still very well loved. To set the under eyes, I am going to go in with this more peachy tone darker shade since I'm still a little bit tanner than normal. I don't want to super highlight my under eyes, just set them in place. And I am going to just get under my eyes, on my eyelid, and then anywhere else where I put that concealer. So then we're going to keep that palette out because we're going to use it again later for some contouring and bronzing. But then I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Luminous Light or Ambient Lighting Powder and Luminous Light. Again, this is like the only face powder I've used for like the last two years. Going in with an Estee Lauder powder brush. Seriously, any powder brush you have will do. This is just the one I thoroughly enjoy. And I just pat that all down so that my makeup lasts longer throughout the day. And whenever you want to put on in more powdered products like blush, contour, you know, bronze or anything, it's easier to blend it in on top of a powder. All right, so I'm gonna do my brows off camera, but I'm gonna show you the products that I've been using lately. Um, I've gone back to my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Medium Brown, and then I go in with this Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Volumizing Gel in the shade three. It's the middle shade that they offer. All right, so I am back. I just you know did my brows, and there's really no super intense technique that I do. I just go ahead and just pencil them in as much as I can. I have stopped completely plucking any of my hairs from my eyebrows because I want my brows to be as full and luscious as they can be. Um, so I literally just make sure all of the less full parts are filled in so that it's more cohesive. And then I just set them all down because I have really long brow hairs in case you wanted to know. All right, so if you are a gal who loves to contour, this is for you. It's definitely not a necessary step, especially for every day, but I like to do it. If you wanted to, you could just skip this and just go to bronzer if you wanted. But I do think it's necessary to warm up the face a little bit to give it some dimension. So we are going to go back into that Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and we are going to go into Marcus Shade just lightly. And I don't do a super sharp contour, so I take like a pretty fluffy brush that's just tapered at the top and then I am going to just start up around my hairline right at like 
I won't want to say the hollow of your cheekbone because I personally think that's bringing it down too much. Kind of right above that and then I just buff this in and then I buff it up to my temple and my hairline up there. And then you can see how it just added like the tiniest bit of warmth and definition to my cheeks. Um, again, nothing crazy, but it just does help to give your face some definition. So then I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer brush. This is a MAC 135 brush. I am going to go back into that Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm going to go into the middle color that's more of like a bronzy tone, tap off the excess, and then I am going to lightly just dust this again, pretty much where I had the contour. Um, but since it's a bigger brush, it's obviously going to cover more surface area to warm up more of your face. I bring it down my jawline underneath my chin. And then also, I, I just fluff it on my nose. I personally am not someone that um, contours their nose. I just like to add warmth to it by putting some bronzer on it. Then we're going to keep this, this palette out. <laughs> Don't put it away yet. And I am going to take any fluffy crease brush and I am going to dip it into that bronzing shade. And then just for the eyes, it's super simple, nothing crazy. And we are just going to sweep this in the crease and across the eyelid. Again, just adding warmth and definition to the eye. So I just like to add some warmth. Again, no crazy technique. And it's super quick. And there you go. I mean, it's just a little something. And that's the thing. I feel like all of these things are like just a little something, but all together, it really gives you a polished look. So then I am going to go into my favorite uh, blush. It's by NARS. It is called Madly. And I have talked about this before. It looks literally like nothing special, but when you just put it on, it just adds a little tiny bit of warmth, which is, I personally think is necessary. So my weird complex with blush, I hate it. I hate a lot of the colors. I think they are so bright on me. I, on other people, they're gorgeous, but I am just not a blush person. But I also think you need blush because I personally think that if you just have this like super light shade right here and then a bronzer and nothing in the middle, it looks a little weird to me. So as much as I don't love a lot of blushes, like this is why this is pretty much the only one that I use is my NARS Madly one because it doesn't give me a weird complex. <laughs> so you can go in with any eyeliner, whatever you choose. You don't even have to do this um, step. I choose to do it because I like to add definition to my eyes. I take a, any brown eyeliner. I like to use the Marc Jacobs gel liner in the color brownie. And I am just going to go in and line my lower lash line and my upper lash line. And there you have it. More defined eyes. And then go in with whatever your favorite mascara is. My favorite combination of mascaras is the Marc, you can't even see it, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir uh, Mascara and then the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. First I go in with the Marc Jacobs one. It has more of a kind of softer fiber um, wand and um, the easiest way to do mascara in my opinion is taking any kind of mirror and looking down. Ugh remove all my hair so I don't put mascara in my hair and then just coating the mascara on your lashes like so because it helps to not get mascara on your eyelid there you have it so lastly to finish off the look is highlighter so lately I have been loving this one by dose of colors it is a collaboration they did with Desi and Katie I'm here on YouTube oh hi Tallulah here on YouTube um, this is the color Merame. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, it looks kind of dark in the pan, but on the cheeks it looks beautiful. So I am just going to take this fluffy highlighter brush from Morphe. It is a M501. And I am just going to lightly dust that on the tops of my cheekbones and then right above the brow bone. And I mean, I guess this isn't super necessary for every day, but I really like it. So then lastly, I'm going to take the shader brush from ColourPop and then I just pop this on the inner corner just for a little, a little highlight, a little thumb thumb. And there you have it. So I am just going to finish off by setting my makeup and I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus, my favorite, favorite setting spray of life. It smells so good. All right, and there you have it. And that is how I achieve my everyday makeup look. It is really easy and it's really not that many products in my humble opinion. 
um, because you're using one of them multiple times for multiple things. So you don't need an eyeshadow palette. It's really just face products um, and then, you know, some mascara and eyeliner. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Um, questions, comments, concerns, feedback. I'd love to hear it. And then if you would want to, please subscribe or give this video a thumbs up. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.